Good evening ladies and gentlemen, how are we getting on? In today's video we're going to take a look at Camp Slots, one of the new features coming in the Locked and Loaded update next month. We're going to take a close up look, see all the ins and outs of it, and all the things you need to know before you get stuck into this new update. So, let's have a look. Okay then, so first order of business before we jump in, the usual heads up on the spoiler front. Obviously we're not going to be doing much in the way of story stuff today, but uh, we are on the PTS, so this is unreleased content, things might change, and if you're wanting to avoid any of that new stuff prior to its release on the live servers, then this is your opportunity to back out now. So, with that out of the way, let's have a little look at camp slots. So, here we are in my current camp on my main guy, this is down in the mire. We have a build video up on that if you are interested in seeing how I did this one. But, first things, we'll have a look at the map. So, here we are, we'll see what the new icon here, let's actually keep that zoomed in a little bit. So you can see I've currently got a load of stuff on sale, it's not really relevant because we're on the test server. We've also got a couple of new icons underneath, these can be toggled on or off, depending on uh, your preference. Obviously the one on the left there indicates whether or not you've got vendors present, and the one on the right is whether or not you have a shelter present. So if I click on this, you see we've got the new widget here, so that's the fast travel to it. I can rename the camp, I can turn the public map icon on and off, so whether or not people can see it. There we go. We are now on, it's off. And I can also change the icon, as we have a whole raft of these available, and they are pretty cool. Some of them Fallout 76 based, some of them based on uh, older games, but there's some pretty cool stuff here. Doesn't make any real difference, but uh, if you want to show off your camp in a slightly different way, it's your opportunity. So my character is kind of embracing the Brotherhood of Steel at the moment, so let's slap that icon on there, just for why not. There we go, it's nice and easy to change, so that's pretty cool. Obviously the shelter's presence is automatic based on whether or not you've got your shelter actually active and placed in your camp. Whereas the uh, vendor one, again, if your vendors are powered, it'll turn on. And uh, if they're not, it won't. But uh, you still have to turn this on in order to make it appear on the map. Because you can have your vendors on like I do now, and it won't currently appear for other players. So worth bearing that one in mind. Okay, so the next thing is the camp slots up here in the top left. Works much like any of the other menus. Hit the expand. And currently, we have two slots placed. Now, there's some issues here that I do want to point out. In the last video talking about this patch, I mentioned that it looked like they're still going to make this unlimited. They described it as being um, a saved history of all your camps. Yet, for now, we only seem to have two slots available. So, there's various questions here. Does this mean we're going to have to buy more slots from the Atomic Shop? Maybe? I don't know yet. They did mention that that would be the case with um, loadout slots. But they didn't say anything about it for camp slots, and given that they mentioned the one, it's surprising that they wouldn't mention the other. So, possibly not, but it's also possible they will. But one of the other reasons they may have decided not to go for uh, limitless uh, sort of camp slots may just be that if you are saving it on the player's side, it just means more and more information for the players to save and ever-expanding uh, uh, save file sizes, which they may want to avoid. Looking at this, we've got, what, two there, so four, six, maybe enough room for seven or eight total. So I'm guessing we can buy more. Hopefully, if they are going to put it in the Atomic Shop, it won't cost too much. But, uh, yeah, if it's not going to be unlimited, that would be sad, and I'd be a bit peeved that they made it sound like it would be. But uh, on the other hand, I'm also kind of not that terribly surprised. But there's something worth bearing in mind. So let's have a look at how this whole thing works then. We'll need to find a new location for a camp first. So, uh, hmm. I'll tell you what, let's set up an oldie but a goodie. We'll head over to Poseidon Substation. There's a good spot over here we can uh, use to demonstrate this. Okay, there's the substation. I'm just going to take a quick jaunt across the river to the spot I'm thinking of. You may be familiar with it. Certainly a spot I've built on a few occasions in the past. Here we are. Whoa. Action points have run out. Come on! So here we go, right next to the road. Nice flat-ish patch of ground. It's a good spot for a camp. So, first things first, before you place your camp down, you need to make sure you have the right slots activated. And give a little shout out here to No Respawns, who uh, indicated this first. I may have missed it otherwise, so a uh, little nod to Davey there. But, 
Currently selected is Camp 1, which is over here in the mire. I want to make sure I've got Camp 2 selected so that I can place a new one. So, if I do that, my new camp is activated. I could rename it, change the icon, turn the map icon on and off. But, uh, that will allow me to place a new one. If I just currently have this one activated, my existing one, and I was to go into the Pip-Boy and move camp, it would demolish the currently active one in order to build the new one, as per the currently existing system. But, because I have Camp 2 selected, the camp unit is now tied to this particular slot, so it won't affect the other one, so you make sure you do that bit first, as otherwise you'll end up demolishing the wrong camp, which should be uh, defeating the point somewhat. So we're going to open up Pip-Boy, Hit the move camp icon, toddle over here a little bit. Let's pull this back so that I'm as far back as I can, get a bit of the water in here. A little bit of the road there should do it. That'll do. Boom. So, let's quickly throw a tiny little thing together that will uh, serve for functionality here. One moment. Okay then, so here we go, one expansive camp set up. <laughs> Just a quick thing I threw together with the essentials inside it, as we can see. So, if we hit the map option, actually I'll tell you what, I'm going to go and close the door first, because why not? There we go. Got to uh, close doors behind us. So, if we hit the map, see there's our active camp. I don't have vendors or a shelter set up here at the moment, so nothing turned on there. You see the public icon is off. There we go. Over here is my camp that we were at earlier. And uh, as you see, the icons are still indicating what is present, but because it is greyed out here, you can see that it is the one that is not active. See, I don't think we can see anybody else on the map at the moment. No, I think everybody's got the camps off at the moment, because it's the PTS and there's no point. <laughs> so, just to switch back to the other camp, nice and easy, we're going to not do that. We'll open up the map, we're going to go into the camp slots, select the current one, and you can see I can uh, rename, turn the icon off, change the icon there. But to switch to the other one, select that one, activate the camp. Done. Now I come out of here, that vanishes as if by magic. And I can bounce back over to the camp in the mire. So, there we go, as if by magic. So there's one other thing I do want to show you, and let's have a look at, that is the vending options. So, display cases are unique in each camp, um, and but vending machines should be shared between the two, so I want to put that to the test in just a moment. It's also worth noting that if you put a shelter in a new camp, that will also be the same shelter as is present at uh, your existing one. So, let's uh, quickly turn camp 2 back on again. Oh, look, it's all gone. So we'll head back over to the other one. It has a habit of zooming in at the moment, which is slightly annoying. A bit more often than it usually does. It usually remembers uh, what's going on. So here we go. Evening's drawing in a bit, but we've got some vendors on the side. Let's find out whether or not these are actually showing what they should be doing. This looks promising. Yep, that looks pretty familiar. Seems to think everything is in the same vending machine at the minute, which obviously it is not. So there may be some issues surrounding that that might need fixing. I might have to uh, mention that one to Bethesda on the forums. But you can access your vendors from all camps. If it's going to stay this way, I suppose, as an added bonus, all your secondary camps would only need the one vendor, so you wouldn't need so much room. Definitely be a bonus. Uh, we'll see what happens on that front, but either way, clearly vendors are working across camps, so very, very cool to see. So there we go, a little look at the new camp slot system. A little more limited than it appeared to be in the dev dive video the other day, but uh, nonetheless, it still looks pretty cool. Hopefully as it expands and gets 
sort of filled out on the PTS and comes to live. We'll have a few more options than are currently available, but we'll have to wait and see. Obviously, I'll let you know as soon as I do, so do watch this space for that. Speaking of, I do hope you found this useful and informative. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please do consider dropping subs and likes. It is very, very much appreciated. And that notification bell, I'll let you know when I eventually post an update video. If you head down to the description, you can find channel memberships, merch store, and the social media links. If you're interested in supporting the channel in those ways, it is humongously appreciated as well. And if you get a chance, do join us for live streams as well. We are regularly playing Fallout 76 and a few other games besides, so I do hope you'll uh, head on over and join us for those. But for now, I'll say a massive thank you very much for watching. Do watch out for the other videos coming over the course of this weekend that are related to the new update. And I look forward to speaking to you all very, very soon.